Hello, Falcon fans. Welcome to another edition of BG Falcon Hockey Weekly. We told you uh, that if we talk to you again, good things must have happened, and indeed they have. Uh, the Falcons are off to the WCHA Championship next weekend. Uh, here with head coach Chris Bergeron. Coach, the team goes up to Northern Michigan. It was a very important series, back-to-back -back, uh, series against Northern in the second round. And uh, we'll start off with game one. Uh, take, you take a penalty about 28 seconds in, <laughs> maybe 50-50 in the first period, but then your team comes to life in the second and third. Yeah, I, uh, it wasn't the way we scripted it, for sure. We told them to keep Northern's power play off the ice as much as possible. And as you say, 30 seconds in, we, we put Northern's power play on the ice. Um, but I thought for the, as we look at that game as a whole, we, we played really well. Um, we took advantage of opportunities, both, in, both sides of the special teams. Um, five on five game was good. Our process overall was really good. We graded out with our objectives, nine or 10 out of 12. And you do that more times than not, you're going to win those games. And um, I was really happy with our, with our game one performance. Again, outside of a play here or there, um, it, was, it was what we were looking for from our group. And then game two with the season on the line for Northern Michigan. Your team comes out in the first period, scores a goal uh, from Connor Ford. It was really good play, too, mm -hmm. for Schilling back to Bayless, back to Pole Camp, and then it gets redirected in by mm -hmm. Connor Ford. We got off to the start we wanted to, knowing that our opponent was going to play better. And, and with their back against the wall and, and all those cliches, uh, with hockey not guaranteed for the next day, we knew we were going to get a hungry Northern Michigan team. And we'd been in that position before, not on the road. Uh, the week before, Saturday night, Michigan Tech was in that same have to win uh, mindset. And um, I thought our guys handled it pretty well. We were expecting Northern to play better, which they did. Um, our process wasn't quite as good on Saturday. I am gonna say that is some on us, but mostly on them. They upped their level and, and that's what great teams do. And we expected it and, and it happened. They scored the first shift of the second. So most of the game, at least the, the last two thirds last three quarters of the game uh, was a 1-1 tie and, and then it becomes two pretty good goaltenders going back and forth. Uh, with the exception of the, the overtime uh, where I think we got, we got beaten up pretty good. I mean the shots were 13-4. to four. I think the chances were uh, 8 or 9-1 to one. and uh, uh, I thought we played a pretty good game. You know I, I, I thought we were, we were um, one undisciplined penalty comes to mind. Our power play could have taken advantage of the second period. Um, but I thought all in all, we played, we played a pretty good game under the circumstances for sure. And then in the second overtime period, Sam Craggs is the hero two minutes and nine seconds into the second overtime to send your team to the WCHA championship game. Arguably that line has been our best line for the playoffs with, with Freddie, Sam and, and uh, Taylor Snyder. And to see those guys get rewarded, it was uh, pretty proud of, uh, of them and our group in, in general. I mean, we, we were on the losing side up there and watching them celebrate last year, heading to the championship game, hosting the championship game. And it was nice to see our guys celebrating on the ice in Marquette. We had some fans up there, which we obviously appreciate. And it was nice to win in front of them. And so now the WCJ championship game will be on Saturday in Mankato, Minnesota against Minnesota State, a team that your team swept uh, back up here in December. So it's, it's everything's on the line here on Saturday. Mm -hmm. The Jeff Sauer WCJ championship trophy uh, an, automatic, uh, an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Uh, Mankato, they're going to try to come out maybe guns a-blazing here because uh, they got swept by your team last time, so they're going to try to make sure that doesn't happen again. Yeah, the, the first and foremost for us, we want to play for championships, and this is an opportunity for us, so we're really excited about that. Then you start to think about your opponent and where and all that stuff, and Minnesota State is the top three or four team in the country for a reason. Their body of work is outstanding. They're the program that we want to be like in terms of championships for the six, for the six years this new WCHA has been formed. They've been the model. Um, that series, all that series was, was an opportunity for us to play against the top team at home and we, and we took advantage of it. And I, I, I do think they're the same teams, but it's a different time, um, a different venue, uh, different circumstances. Uh, there, there's more on the line. These are going to be two hungry teams. Uh, it's going to be the team that, that's able to execute and be poised and focused while they're playing as absolutely hard as they can. Because I, I, I see both teams playing extremely hard. Then you've got to be disciplined and so on. And they're so deep at every position. Um, and we're, we're just going to have to take care of us, take care of the puck, be on the right side of special teams, hopefully win the goaltending battle. No different than, than the recipe any other weekend. Although the, the, the main challenge is Minnesota State and how good they are. 
one other thing that I do want to get to quickly. Uh, WCHA Scholar Athletes, uh, I think it was around 12 or 13 mm -hmm. on your team. Uh, so it's really nice to see that a bunch of your team is doing well, not only on the ice, but off the ice and in the classroom as well. I, I feel like it's probably one of the more prouder things for us. Uh, prouder, I'm not sure if that's the right word, but from a coaching staff perspective, you have the word student athletes and we all want to win. Everybody wants to win championships. But there's, an, there's a student part of that too, and I believe that our boys uh, encompass that. I'm not saying over anybody else. I'm not comparing us to anybody else. I'm just really proud of their, their, their efforts in the classroom. Um, we're, we've been above a 3.3 um, for every semester. We've been here as a coaching staff uh, from a team perspective. The first semester this year, we were 3.4 as a group, and we were 13 and 3 on the ice. To me, that's what, that's what getting it done is all about. And, and those 12 guys, we're, you know, you're proud of the all-league players with on-ice accomplishment, but we're extremely proud of the, the off-ice accomplishment by those, uh, those academic accolades for our guys, and I'm um, really happy for them. They deserve it. WCHA championship game on Saturday. We'll start with the pregame show at 7.37 p.m. on the Falcon Radio Network, 8.07 p.m. Eastern Time. Those of you for puck drop, the door is coming off the hinges. It's time to ram it down this weekend. Talk to you then.